My mom is highly addicted to painkillers and it's going to kill her. This is my man, man right now. My mother-in-law is so high on pain medication that when I'm talking to her, I don't feel like she really understands what I'm even saying. She seems like she's in La La Land. I've known Nathan and his family my entire life. Helen was very functional. She was on top of her game. About 15 years ago when I was in middle school, my mom had gastric bypass surgery. Since my mom's surgery, pain pills have been part of her life. Things started falling apart quickly. She lost her job, she lost her house. The house was a free for all. Helen just really didn't care. When I was in high school, my mom took me to school in the morning and she drove over curbs and into the yard at the high school and, and I quickly realized that she was high. I remember one time, Helen almost got hit by a car because someone was trying to steal her pain medication. I moved out at 15, enough was enough. I went away to college, I started my career. For about eight to 10 years, I had very little contact with my mom and my sister. I just didn't want to get caught up in the drama. About five years ago, I reconnected with my mom. She was a mess, she was in a bad spot. My mom would do anything to get paid medication. I didn't take any Ativan yesterday. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. She will go out on the streets and find anyone that has pills. My mom has been known to be jumping from pain doctor to pain doctor, from hospitals to hospitals to get what she wants. You can't get very much privacy in a hospital. Last time my mom was in the hospital, the doctors put her on a morphine drip. I truly believe that she has hurt herself, fallen downstairs on purpose and done things on purpose to have to go to the hospital to get something. My mom thinks that she's dying from complications from her gastric bypass, but she's dying from the painkillers and the drugs. That's what's killing her. If we don't get my mom off pain medication immediately, I know, my fear, and I know that my mom will be dead. You wrote in, correct? Yes, me and my wife did. Why now? Because um, uh, one of our family members was struck by a car and we were at the hospital to be there for him, and my right. mom showed up very high. Um, and it's probably one of the worst times I've ever seen her. What does she say about it when you talk to her about it? <clears throat> you know, she denies it. She, she blames everything on her medical conditions and that she's in pain, and it's a medical problem. It's the doctors that is the reason why she's not the mom she mm -hmm. used to be. Have you just called her out on it? Have you refused to support her in any way in getting these drugs, doing these things? Yes, I've done that my whole life. Um, when I moved out 15, I separated myself from my family completely. Um, I just couldn't take, take to um, accept those behaviors. You say your sisters, Alex and Demetria, are not doing enough to get your mom the help to get off these pills. My sister Alex was supporting me 100% at that time. Demetra was not. Demetra was being nasty to us, telling my mom she didn't, know, she didn't need to go to rehab. She didn't, she didn't need to do the things that I said that she needs to do. Did you realize that she is actually harming herself so she can get pain pills? In 2010, she throws herself down the stairs so she has injuries so she can present herself to an ER. In 2011, she started befriending addicts at AA mm -hmm. to get pills. Mm -hmm. 2011 through 2016, uh, she's in the hospital a lot, so she's getting them that way, 20 to 30 times a year. Could be more. She stole $40 from you, mm -hmm. which she's using to buy pills. Yep. That's not my mom. My, my mom taught me, none of these pictures in here, my mom taught me a lot. But you see her wasting away. Yeah. Does that hurt you? <clears throat> yeah. My, my mom was a hardworking woman. I remember seeing her get up every morning early, get, get dressed, professional, look good, ready to go. She took care of an addict for years. She took, took care of an addict for a long time. And then when she left him finally, because us kids were just, were just gone, she turned her page in life and thought that she was that she could go out and stuff and have a good time and she just lost it, man. And then she had the gastric bypass because she wanted to lose weight and be a 25 again. And she tried to live that life and she, she lost it. Mm -hmm. And I lost my mom since that day. Eventually she's gonna come out here today and I need to know what my resources are. Are you willing to stand your ground and do what it takes to get her to turn this firm. corner? Firm, firm, Because she is I'm a master moving. at deflection and you can't take the bait. It won't happen.